so today we have the vishnu who have recently got the offer in physical design so he was struggling in the like recession time and he got the offer in physical design especially because in a physical design in the recession time physical design student are struggling because of the lesser jobs right so we will start with your introduction vishnu you can give your introduction you have done a btech which college which year and uh, right now which company you have got the offer Yes, sir. So, uh, my name is Vishnu, and uh, that uh, and I got graduated in the year two thousand fifteen, and uh, after that, actually, uh, using uh, that is, I did one internship from a company called Antipul Technologies, and uh, from there, actually, I got to know where my strengths are, and so for that reason, again, I have done a course from an institute called Sumed IIT, and that too in physical design. But earlier when I did internship, I was actually concentrating on this analog layout. But since I was not getting a job there, I did a, a full fledged training, uh, get a job in a startup company, and uh, again I have switched to many uh, like uh, that is a startup company called uh, Siliconus, and from there I got switched to uh, another startup company, Rakia, and. Uh, and my last employment was uh, at Capgemini, and there I was working as a professional one. My grade was professional one, and I was working for Intel. And uh, from there, actually, I got laid off because of the market situation. And uh, and after uh, getting laid off, it was very difficult for me to get a job. And uh, but still, actually, I was. Going through the basics and also I was sharpening my skills. Even I enrolled for many online courses also, and I was trying to uh, prepare well for the interview during this period of time. And uh, and actually, then uh, like uh, since I was uh, having uh, that as a good network in LinkedIn, I was able to get the update from. Many of the people like there are many startup companies that are available. So, and uh, that is I resigned the in the in the year two thousand twenty three September, and uh, it took uh, three months for me to get a job in this semiconductor industry that too in a startup company. So I was able to clear the interview since I was having measurable knowledge in. Um, in the in theoretical aspects of physical yeah. design, but uh, that is uh, while coming to practical uh, knowledge, actually uh, I think I'm like I I still need to improve myself. So uh, I will say that I mean I am still struggling right now uh, also, um, but uh, still uh, actually I was I'm able to understand things, and uh, that is even now uh, that is I am doing physical verification also. Okay. So now I'm getting uh, like uh, a broader aspects of this uh, domain. I'm able to understand the broader aspects of this domain. So uh, once the PNR database is done, then actually we will be doing the physical verification. So this is actually new for me. I'm still learning that. So that is how. Okay. So you were you in Capgemini or in analog layout or physical design in Capgemini? Uh, I was into physical design. Physical design. So you said, why yeah. you were you in analog layout? Yeah, I was in analog layout. Initially. Uh, like initially, I was in analog layout. And okay. Actually, I will, I will, uh, that is actually analog circuit design. I, I tried for analog circuit design also, but uh, that was actually very hard for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, uh, that is, uh, there are a lot of uh, parameters that need to be considered exactly. to close the design. So there is trade-off between many parameters, uh, but in digital domain, it was like mainly con mainly in the uh, it is actually focused on these three parameters like power, performance, and area. So, uh, so I felt uh, some what to say likeness towards this uh, physical design, and that too uh, in an comparing to analog layout, uh, less scripting work is done in I mean uh, that is more scripting work is done in physical design comparing to analog. Mm -hmm. uh, so analog layout. So, so that is how I got interested, and uh, I thought I will give it a shot. Yeah, so, great. Yes. Fine. So, yeah.
Yeah. So it take three months for you to get the job in VLSI after the layoff, right? So what are the things you have done? Like, how, and what is the selection process of this company? Like, how many interviews you have you given in three months? So uh, just I have given only like uh, three. I was able to get only three interviews during this three months. Only that only startups only, really, right? Yes, yes, only startups. Okay, and uh, how much I, experience you have before applying in physical design there? The real time experience would be like uh, three years. Three years. Even after the three years, you are not getting the product based company goals, right? Because of the recession, right? Okay. I was not able to crack the interview. Even I didn't get call call also. Calls, yeah. For, yeah. Correct call, is different thing. Goal. Getting a yes. call is like major thing. Only if you get the call, then you will crack it, right? Yes, yes. So, what is the selection process of these companies, right? Uh, mainly startups. So they have asked me like uh, whatever that is there in the resume, they were asking the <laughs> questions. And also like uh, that is uh, uh, if you are claiming like three years experience, then they would expect uh, that that much knowledge Ex from you. So uh, the question, whatever the questions they have asked, actually that will be common for some two years guy also, but they will expect uh, some more depth, in-depth knowledge actually. So since I was preparing for the interview, I was able to uh, crack the interview. Like I was able to explain whatever I did in Capgemini and what and all the challenges I faced in Cap that was while doing the execution of the project. So those things I was able to convey, uh, convince them. So okay. That was, that was there, and uh, and the interview was for around like uh, uh, that was around one hour, like that. The interview happened for uh, one hour. Uh, two rounds or three rounds? How many rounds? No, it was only one round and one then round. actually HR took up the call. Yes. So it was off, off camp, offline or like online? Better? It was online. Online. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so how you got to know about VLS app or all? Like it is through the YouTube or friends or like LinkedIn? Mainly uh, LinkedIn only. LinkedIn Mainly, only. Uh, LinkedIn, uh, I was able to like uh, just get some Posts actually like yeah. uh, many of the people who are having more experience and uh, they are like uh, more exposed on this physical design. They, they used to uh, that is project their uh, what to say experiences in the yeah. sense like uh, they, they will uh, explain some of the challenges that have met that they have met during the execution yeah. of the project. So at that time I was able to uh, get some uh, what to say outline of this physical design. And what and all changes? Okay. So I might I might uh, face during the particular situation. So which course have you taken in the VLSI for all? It is interview guidance program, right? Idea, a rough idea. I mean clear. Not I mean not clear actually. At least some idea. No, I am saying which course mm -hmm. you have taken in VLSI for all. Uh, which course placement? Have, which course placement. have taken? Which course have taken in VLSI for all? I haven't taken any course, but uh, uh, only uh, that is the placement program. I have enrolled yeah. for placement. Job assistance program. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, fine. Uh, so, yeah. So, how is the job group in VLSI for all? Uh, how frequently jobs are coming right now, even in the recession? Sorry? Uh, how frequently the jobs are coming? You are the part of premium job group, right? Yes. So how many frequently the jobs are coming in it? Yeah, the, whatever the like uh, opportunities are there, uh, the like uh, I I am getting the updates. Mm -hmm. Like okay. whatever the in in PD or PV or I mean in PD or Excellent. DV. Yes. Uh, and also you have any given any mock interviews with the VLSI forum? Yeah, how many three mock interviews I have? Three given. mock interviews I have. Okay. Yes. So it was useful for you? Yes, up to some extent. I was able to interact with many of the my peers. Yeah. So, and th those people are were also searching for jobs. And yeah, yeah. Communicatives there, right? Yes. So now you are not planning for the master, right? So you are you or you are planning for the master or you are planning for the like to switching to the big bigger company, like product based company. Like what is your approach planning? At this moment, actually, I'm trying to learn however okay. I can. 
<laughs> then actually better to switch. That is what yeah. I am thinking. Yeah. Okay, great, great. Because they, they need real talent actually. Exactly. Because, uh, Practical yeah, knowledge yeah. they want, right? Only yes, theoretical yes. is not sufficient. If you are on yes. the bench and you are not learning anything, obviously that experience they will count on the resume. But in the real time in the interview, they will get to know like this have a note, like he have not knowledge of the practical knowledge, right? So yes, that yes. is a thing. So yeah. So uh, any tips for the student who are struggling in the recession time? Like uh focus on the like uh, basics because okay. as a fresher they will be asking uh, the basic questions yeah so if you are not having that grip on the basics then actually they want uh, like uh, they, they won't ask you much they mm -hmm. will be able to uh, like uh, they, they will be able to easily uh, judge you like yeah, where you are standing but yeah. if you are strong with your basics uh, then if you are not able to uh, what to say answer like uh, some Higher, I mean, uh, high five question. I mean, higher. What mm -hmm. to say? Some, some difficult question. If you are not able to answer, then, uh, then, they might be having a feeling that this guy is good in basics, so we will be able to train them, and then they might give you a chance, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So, to according to you, what are the important? Yeah. According to you, what are the important topics in physical design for the interview? For the interview, mainly uh, digital electronics. We should have a good knowledge on digital electronics, but uh, they might again ask like it's actually backend job that has nothing to do with. They might ask, but the thing is like we should be able to know the working of the flip flops or uh, what to say, what is exactly digital electronics. Then actually, uh, while coming to PD, those materials, whatever that is there in the internet, that is more than enough to crack as a pressure. And most importantly, it is uh, like we should have good uh, exposure on this uh, EDA tools. Yeah, yeah. So how they have the EDA tool knowledge in the interview? Like they were uh, expecting a practical knowledge on the EDA tool. They want to share the screen. Like you want to implement this thing, or they will just asking the asking it. Sometimes, uh, if you are, uh, for example, sometimes if you are uh, telling that I have done the macro placement. Uh, that is, even though your explanation will be uh, like uh, good, uh, even though if, if your explanation is well and good, so, uh, there is a point where this uh, exposure on these EDA tools come into picture. So if I am telling that I place the macros in a uniform manner, then obviously they might ask like how you placed. Hmm. So in that, uh, at that time, if you are able to give some answer that is very convincing or I mean, if you have really executed then you will be able to give the right answer itself. So if, uh, so if you are not able to give that answer, then they will have an understanding that this guy is not uh, practically good like that. So anyway, for fresher, anyway, there are more chances for PD. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Because so they yeah, don't so expect a, like com complete tool knowledge, but they yes. will expect a basic so yeah. Only 80 to 85 percentage, if you are able to answer the question, and then you might then there is more chance that yeah. and the way of answering also definitely matters yeah 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 it is if you are able to present yourself in a good manner then actually uh, there is uh, you, they they might give you more rating and thereby you will be able yeah. to get that yeah great, great. in so my I case need... actually i am having experience so they will ask more questions and also in depth question they will ask much mm -hmm. so uh, yeah. So, any tips for the student for who are in the struggling in the recession? Like, uh, what they should they should do for the more course? They should add the pro projects. They should expect yes. the, like theoretical knowledge. What what they should they should do, or they should go for M Tech. That is also option. No, uh, if they have enrolled for some training institute, then whatever they have done from the training institute, if you are able to uh, project yourself then that is more than enough. And whatever that is written in the resume, uh, we should be able to uh, like uh, express it properly. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you can dig up, like mainly you can dig the basics that is uh, by reading some standard textbooks. Thereby we will be able to get some higher, uh, like a better picture of mm -hmm. That will definitely help. Okay, then. Thank you so much, Vishnu. Thank you so much for your 
like uh, getting the offer and uh, feel free if you want to uh, any help in the future also fine thank you thank you so much okay. thank you sure. thank you